Yo, what is going on guys? Randall Thor19, the man with the million, back again with another daily video. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to check the video out. Really appreciate it. So this is going to be an interesting video. I'm sure it's probably going to get some hate, but hey. This is my first thought when I saw the new trailer that Sony put out advertising for the PS4 Pro. Um, you know, it's about time they advertise more for the PS4 Pro. You know, according to that Nielsen survey, only 13% of people even know the PS4 Pro even exists. It's even less for Scorpio. But then again, Scorpio really hasn't been marketed much. So it's about time Sony kind of kicked up the gear on the PS4 Pro marketing. But that's not what the video is going to be about. It's not even going to be about the games they market in the video. I mean, they're they're showing off Gran Turismo, they're showing off God of War and Horizon Zero Dawn and MLB 17. All cool looking games outside of Gran Turismo. I've never been a Gran Turismo fan, but hey, God of War, that game looks incredible and so does Horizon Zero Dawn. Mm, can't wait to play those games whenever I get my PlayStation 4. But the thing that I find absolutely, positively hilarious is that Sony is basically advertising and says it in the video, not only a couple times in the video, but also the name of the ad on YouTube. They're promoting Dynamic 4K Gaming. The name of the ad is called Dynamic 4K Games Only on PlayStation 60 PS4 Pro. And I just find it absolutely hysterical that Sony is advertising Dynamic 4K. And so... I don't want anybody to be upset or to get their panties in a bunch or any of that nonsense when later this year Microsoft advertises true 4K or native 4K gaming because here's Sony advertising basically fake 4K gaming. So nobody get their jimmies in a rustle when Microsoft advertises native 4k because sony's basically giving them the window of opportunity to do so now think about this for a single second think about this can you imagine the backlash the hate that microsoft would have gotten this gen if they didn't add like this and called it dynamic 1080p gaming can you imagine the backlash and all the hate from all the fanboys Microsoft would have gotten if they ran an ad basically talking about how their games run upscaled in 1080p? They would have been the laughing stock of YouTube, of Twitter, of NeoGAF, of N4G. People would have roasted them over the coals, and rightfully so, because advertising fake 1080p just like advertising fake 4K, isn't really something to be proud of, in my opinion, right? I mean, the fact that Sony has to say dynamic 4K, like it really is like something even better. Ooh, it's not native, it's dynamic. Come on, come on. That's almost borderline um, false advertising. I know it's not false advertising, but it's borderline false advertising but you damn well know and i'll say it here in this video when scorpio ads come out at the end of the year and they advertise native 4k and they push home the mantra of actual 4k gaming true 4k gaming sony fanboys and people on twitter and people on 4g are going to lose their minds but yet nobody's saying a thing about sony advertising fake 4k now, why is that? I'll let you come to your own conclusions. You can make your own, you know, assumptions and conclusions about why that is. But I just find it absolutely hysterical that Sony is basically advertising this. I mean, they're dominating. They don't even really need to advertise Dynamic 4K, right? But they are. And this kind of goes to the thing is that resolution does matter to these companies. It is a selling point of the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox, maybe not so much the, you know, the Switch, 
But we've all seen those NPD data. The 70% of people went out and bought a game because of how it looked, the graphics. And these companies know that because these companies have the data. So, of course, they're going to advertise, you know, what they can. And right now, yeah, the PS4 Pro can advertise dynamic 4K gaming. Because it's the only one that can kind of do it right now. The Xbox One S, although the Xbox One S upscales games to 4K... I don't necessarily know if you call it dynamic 4K because dynamic dynamic 4K is what checkerboarding, which everybody hated when Quantum Break did it. Remember when? Remember? Remember the big uh, the big uh, shitstorm that was uh, the 720p dynamic uh, checkerboarding resolution for Quantum Break. Everybody tore that game apart for that. But hey, that's how you make dynamic 4K games on PlayStation. Everybody loves checkerboard rendering. But I digress. I just find this stuff absolutely hysterical. Obviously, Sony's going to advertise what they see fit. And what they see fit right now is, well, we need to advertise and push some PS4 Pro, Dynamic 4K, before Microsoft can advertise true 4K. Because I guarantee you, once the Scorpio comes out and Microsoft is advertising true 4K and they will club us over the head with that, Sony will no longer advertise Dynamic 4K. So this is just Sony trying to get maybe a few extra sales out of PS4 Pro of people who don't know the difference between dynamic and true or native or whatever. And I just find it absolutely hysterical. I laughed when I saw this article, or not this article, but when I saw the video, which I'll have linked in the description if you guys want to watch it for yourself. I mean, the games should speak for themselves, and they do. God of War and Horizon Zero Dawn look fantastic. I just find it hysterical that they lead the ad with dynamic 4K gaming, which they won't be able to advertise later in the year. So anyways, let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, Are you cool? Are you down with dynamic 4K gaming? Are you going to hate on true 4K gaming at the end of the year when Microsoft advertises it? Let me know what you think in the comments. If If you like this video, hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more content, and I'll see everybody later.